I came home from work and discovered the little chick laying quiet and motionless on the bottom of the brooder. It's called pasty butt and it's fairly common. Baby chickens are susceptible to having their droppings clump around and block their vents. This can be fatal. It looks like the weeds are a hit. Thank you very much, Brittany. You know, we have more customers than eggs. So I think we're gonna head to Wilco and look at some baby chickens. Before we go to Wilco, I wanted to show you the latest thing Wendy has planted. The green beans have done so well for us this year, we decided to go ahead and plant a few more to enjoy them even longer. Green leg bar and light bronze. You told me you weren't <coughs> going to be filming stuff while I sit in the car. This is this hot car this waiting. Is a note for myself: cream leg bar and light broma. Since we're out here, we needed to get some more wild game bird food for our quail. Car coming? We have a car coming. The food we give our birds is specific. The baby chicks get crumbles, as do our quail. I mix game bird crumbles with oyster shells. because our quail do sometimes lay soft eggs if I don't. Big chickens get pellets. 
I've noticed they seem to waste more food if I give them the smaller crumbles. I've got the temporary brooder set up here in the garage. I wanted it here so I can keep a closer eye on them. My plan is to have them grow up out in the quail hutch. I've got a good brooder section out there and this time of year it's plenty warm. Right now it's almost 100 degrees outside and baby chickens really like it warm. It does get down into the 50s and 60s at night so I might need to use a hot plate to help keep them warm at night. We of course have water and food for the little guys. This is a starter crumble specifically for baby chickens. did set up the heat lamp for those chickens in my shop, and I'm pretty much leaving it on all the time for them. It can be deceptive on these warm summer days that feel so hot to us, but the baby chickens still need that extra warmth of the heat lamp. The way I'll determine if the chickens still need the heat lamp is just by watching their behavior. You turn the lamp off, and then after a while, if they huddle up close to each other for warmth, then clearly they still need the heat lamp. If they stay spread out and they look happy and they're moving around, then they're doing just fine. I've really enjoyed arranging our customers' eggs in the cartons by color. I had been on the lookout for really dark egg layers as well as bright white egg layers when I went down to Wilco to buy those chickens. They didn't happen to have any when I was there. I ended up getting some cream leg bars, which are pretty interesting because they lay blue eggs 
and that should be a fun addition to those egg cartons. The other chickens are a light Brahma, which aren't bright white, but they are a light brown egg. Wilco restocks their chickens on Fridays, probably because more people shop for chickens on the weekends. I couldn't help myself. Today's Friday, so I went back down there and I ended up getting three more chickens. They're black copper morans, so we'll have more of those nice dark eggs that I was looking for. It's kind of funny. The uh, bright white egg layers are kind of boring. It's what you always get at the grocery store, but when your flock doesn't lay very many of those, they're kind of exotic. First, I should apologize for the state of my shop. I've got a lot of projects going on with my picture framing business, so it's kind of a lot of chaos out here right now. Since I got more chickens, I thought I'd graduate up to a larger brooder. This one has enough room for the wire mesh platform. That just helps keep the food and water a little cleaner. The chickens will still get those pine shavings mixed into the water. So you have to clean that out all the time, but it does help a little bit. This is what the black copper morans look like. Yeah, here's your water. Good. It's important to always show them where the water is when they're little babies. Yes, it's okay. There you go. These are the cream leg bars. The little blue egg layers. And these little yellow ones are the light Brahmas. I'm out here because I wanted to show you how well Wendy's peppers are doing. This greenhouse was damaged in an ice storm. It's interesting to me how even this damaged structure is really good for growing food. Having a garden means I get to have healthy snacks. Lately, I've been taking some to work. In here, I've got some sweet little cherry tomatoes and a whole bunch of cucamelons. Cucamelons look like tiny little watermelons and they taste kind of like watermelon rind. We've got them growing right up here. We had a really close call with one of our little baby yellow chickens. It's called pasty butt and it's fairly common. Baby chickens are susceptible to having their droppings stick to the downy feathers right around their vent. This blocks it off and it can be fatal. I came home from work and discovered the little chick laying quiet and motionless on the bottom of the brooder. I was afraid at first that she had died already, but it wasn't too late. I didn't get any of this on video, 
Maybe I should have, but it's kind of gross, and it's easy enough for me to just describe how I dealt with the problem. I filled this container about halfway with warm water. I just dipped the bird in it, slowly letting the water help dissolve the poop. I just gently picked it away until she was clean. She wasn't very happy about it and looked a little uncomfortable for the rest of that day. But now she's doing so well, I can't even tell which chick it might have been. This is one really good reason to set up your brooder someplace where it's going to be very easy to check up on the chicks, especially during the first few weeks. Thanks for watching. If you like our videos, please click the thumbs up, subscribe, and leave a comment.